Good. Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Thanks to French Quarters Guest Departments for being our New York City hotel. Let them be your headquarters in New York City. Go to FrenchQuartersNY.com to book your next day. FrenchQuartersNY.com to book your next day. My next guest, I got to tell you, John Sally's here. I forgot how much fun I used to have on the Best Damn Sports Show with you, man. You, you've got to have your own show somewhere. Because, I, I, I because know. It, I'm, it, you're, you're so witty and hilarious on this show, man. Going back and forth. We would go back and forth, and we had... You got to Google it, because I think I did it like five times. But there's a, we're in Vegas at, at one point. It's 200 <laughs> degrees, and I'm melting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I, anybody else would have been offended by this, but you you like went, went with it and made it one of the funniest things ever. You were worried I was going to pass out, I think. And yeah. you just started wiping my brow. And I pretended to be like a slave owner from the yes. <laughs> I said, yeah, John, I mean, wipe my brow. <laughs> Jalen Rose was there, was so offended. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not. You, were like, <laughs> you just went along with it. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is the, the craziest thing. One, you were going to pass out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, you know, you know uh, us Africans have way more uh, uh, success in the hot weather. You you might have saved my life, actually. <laughs> I, oh, because I wanted to get back on the show. You know, and I wanted a new show, but then I started thinking, and I got to tell you, you know, I've been watching you, and uh-huh. I just watched you. You've really gotten so much better at this show. You knew, you, you're, 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 I think you're on time. I think you got here like four minutes before oh, you were supposed to be here this yeah, time. This is, what it, this is what it's about. At least four. Yeah. No, but I've watched you, I'm like you, Dean man. Martin. I don't rehearse. I just put a tux on. Yeah. He was, oh, trust me, that was a rehearse. And that Dean Martin interview, you made... Dina one is beautiful. Oh yeah, she's gorgeous. Uh, yeah. yeah, and and but you made me love that interview, right. and I loved the Rat Pack. I loved everything about that yeah. era. You know, you 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 asked the question that I should have asked. The, yeah. the Puff, Puff Daddy is clearly taking on the whole thing with the commercials. I think it's more like he doesn't have to. He doesn't need to to make any more money. I think he just likes fooling around with it a little bit. But it's funny, he's got more Dean qualities than Frank. Yeah. I know he probably wants everyone, wants, everyone wants to be Frank. Well, it does, but Jay-Z said he's the Frank Sinatra of, of hip I think Jay-Z is more the Frank, and right. P. Diddy's more the laid back, like, hey, because Jay-Z's more intense. Uh-huh. And P. Diddy's more like the go rascal, have fun. I mean, still take care of your business, obviously, right. but which Dean Martin did too. Yeah, what do you think he would think about that? I think, uh, one, I love that he did it because it's the only place to go to it. You go from wearing hip hop clothes and jeans right. and sagging and a whole lot of because he will also put his his grill in his mouth yeah. and put his chains on and right. his fur coat. Uh, but the brother was on you know the Forbes list this year. You you had five hundred and twenty six million dollars from people drinking. What are you gonna do? Yeah, hey, you know I'm right. trying to drink that next. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some Chirac. Now nah, he's just a, he's just a great businessman. Like and Jay Z is too. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's funny if they went down that route. See, Jay Z is such like Sinatra. I just don't think he's interested in even doing that. <laughs> no. And and uh, oh, he says it in his tunes. He's got yeah. the, in that song. He's I'm the new Sinatra. Yeah, and it's so funny. You called it tunes, and you call him Puff Daddy. He's so old. I, I um. am. I know I am. <laughs> You're older than I am. And again, I know. Just let me hear you snap your fingers. Let's get it going, brother. See, and you always look. Good, I was so so, ex- so excited to come uh, to the show. And yeah, I, I, saw- I asked. Can I come on to the show? Just letting everybody know, this is not a booking. I asked to come on, and I have to give you some, thank you, I have to give you some uh, some news. So when I was on the show the first two or three times, yeah. and I was walking around like a, um, like a gypsy, selling everything, right. how much, how much, give me $5. Right, right. Okay, right. three. It was funny, though. Right, I was doing it. Now, Vermax is number one in the in the category, and all the other things it got taken be. off because they were all fake. It should be. <laughs> I'm they sure were they were. all fake. No, and listen, and this I'm one is winning. Isn't. Okay, yep. we got to take a break, but I'm going to say I, I've used it, and, uh, well, I'm dating Carmen Electra. That's all I'll say. <laughs> back after this. Welcome back to the Audio Line Show. Uh, we only got a minute left before, and uh, John's going to stay the next hour, but... Uh, so 30 for 30, what? 30 for, if you want. Yeah. Uh, 30 for 30 about the 89-90 Pistons, the Bad Boys? About the Bad Boys. Oh, and, that's great. And we just had a Bad Boys reunion last week in Detroit. Everyone showed up except so Dennis and Ralph Lewis. But. What, how's Dennis doing? <laughs> we don't know. We heard he was in Argentina. Do you know through the Stern Show? I think show, that's what they call North Korea now. <laughs> <laughs> through the Stern Show, I, I developed kind of a personal relationship with him where he called me a couple times, 5 a.m. in Vegas, and... I got to tell you, I have such a different perspective. Like, I, f- I feel for that guy. Because we have a lot of the same issues, me and him. And he's like, he's like telling me, I'm like, everything all right with you? I'm like, yeah, what about you? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> but this is the, this is the crazy thing. Um, he keeps, this is what I said. They said, man, Dennis is going through this and this part of his life. 
both of you are probably going to live longer than George Burns. <laughs> George Burns. <laughs> <laughs> and you're probably going to run for Senate at 60, 65 we'll years happens. old. I think I have a Native American liver. That helps. Uh, <laughs> more on that after this. The great John Sally's here. Come back. Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. The great John Sally's here. Good friend of mine. That's right. Funny guy, legendary basketball player. I'll tell you, I am really psyched that the bad boys, 89 and 90, are getting a 30 for 30. Yeah. Uh, I told you, I miss, I miss, I miss uh, Chuck. Uh, just with, uh, one of my favorite, you know, he looks like the kind of guy with an $80,000 Rolex will just pick up a donut and get, like, icing on it and just eat it. <laughs> Chuck <laughs> Daly. You know, like, uh, just, uh, you know, pick up a sandwich with his finger. <laughs> Yeah, he was, Daddy Rich was the greatest Great suit. Man. Is that Great. what you called him? I called him, yeah, I gave him the name Daddy Rich because he was so smooth. You know, he would walk up, it would be a big game, he'd have his arms crossed, guys are stretching, you know, we're about yeah. to get going. And I'd stretch and he'd walk over to me, he goes, check out my socks. Yeah. <laughs> he said, now check out my handkerchief, then look at the tie. <laughs> he said, Pat Riley can't do this. <laughs> And, he, and he'd walk away. That's that, hilarious. That he had no a other conversation. No, make sure that he goes left. No. That's look, a. <laughs> yeah, look at my socks. That's hilarious, Daddy. Had a thing about Pat Riley. Oh, about his that. whole no, competition Chuck, was. Chuck Daly, and I mean this as a compliment. I'm Italian. I mean this. He had the same exact demeanor as John Gotti. Yes. He had the same exact. You know, oh, pictures of Gotti. Like they were kind of heavy set, but Gotti wore a suit like no one else, and so did Daly. Like they weren't like. They didn't look like Pat Riley in shape or stuff, but they knew right. how to, they knew how to wear a suit. And the hair was They knew what was they were perfect. doing. Yeah, the hair was perfect, yeah. and and Gotti had the the suits on. It reminds me of uh, in my old, when when Gotti kept getting arrested and stuff, and he was maybe getting a little too much publicity. I <laughs> I used to work at the port in Newark, and I talked to some guys that might have known people. I don't know. And I said to him, <laughs> I said to this one guy, he said the funniest thing. I said, "What do you think about Gotti? What's going to happen to him?" He goes. Someone's gonna ruin a great suit. <laughs> he said to me. But hey, the guy—he sort of won. He died in prison. But uh, Chuck Daly reminds me of that. Like, you were, did you guys? You guys were a team that would disrespect people on the court, but you looked like you it. respected him. Yeah, this was the funny thing. We and uh, we didn't get to see any of the thirty for thirty. Which you, is, you did all your interviews are all done and everything. Yeah, okay. Which is a dangerous thing when you don't get to see it. No, it's the and worst. And then we heard a little bit. And then David Stern showed up at our 25th Bad Boys anniversary last Friday. When he showed up, we all looked at him like, "What is the, he hates us. What is David right, doing here? Right. But then we got the truth that our name Bad Boys came from him because right. we had the first DVD and they put on there 1988 Bad Boys because uh -huh. we, were, we weren't agreeing with the way everything was going. Okay. Well, so he gave us the name. You were the team Jordan couldn't get by for a right, while. Right. Like, and it's so funny how that was when Jordan finally beat you guys, that was considered the finals, even though he had Magic in the yeah. Lakers. Magic was older. But it was like, you know, not, they, they treated that like we won. We beat the Pistons. Finally. Yeah, and they did. Yeah. And it was their championship. And I remember uh, Isaiah tells stories, man. When you see this, you're going to, one, we changed 25 rules in the NBA. Yeah. So, oh, really? Yeah, 25 rules have been changed. Because <laughs> okay. of, the way. of Rick Mahorn. <laughs> yeah, and Dennis Rodman. Like, you can't, yeah. you, like, you can't look at, now, remember this. Um, Isaiah gets a call. He looks at the ref. He throws his hands up. He goes around. He sits on the yeah, floor. He gets yeah, up. Yeah. He walks around. He crosses his arm. Like a little baby. And they'll get the next call. Right? Right. You look at a referee side eye right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you are getting a technical. Yeah, well, even if it, well, even LeBron, does, are there certain Everybody. players that run the league, though? No, if LeBron looks and says the wrong Cause thing. Because okay. look what they did. To, they started with, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Duncan looked, at, oh, looked right. at the referee the wrong way. Joey Crawford. Joey Crawford said, you don't look at me like that. Here's a tech. And to give that what? to Duncan. Duncan's a liked guy. Yeah, I know, you know. Man. He's, he's a quiet guy, too, man. I was in that where locker room. Where do you put him? Guy. People never, I mean, God was that guy dominant. Like, where do you and put him in the list? I mean, um, in the top 10 ever, does he make that? or? It's just that he doesn't talk. He doesn't, this is what happened. He has the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar curse. He's the most talented person on the, on the court. Not but that's, that's all they see. Yeah. They only see the fundamentals. They don't see any pizzazz, any, any mustard on it, yeah. which doesn't need to be. And they're going to put him as, all right, great player, go over here. Like, you never hear about David Robinson. You That's never right. hear about yeah. Akeem Olajuwon. He Elijah just sort of went away, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. The, and these guys were great players. Akeem, too, yeah. Yeah, in the top 50, too. It's just the way they want to market. Well, the, the language thing. barrier is hard with Akeem to become America's sweetheart, I guess. But, you know, <laughs> that kind of hurts. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that I'll tell you, the most frustrating thing as a Knicks fan, I went to go see you guys play the Knicks, and I think it was 90, at the Garden, all right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I bet the Knicks. Obviously, Here's wrong. what happened. Yes. You obviously this, this was is on why, drugs. This is why you guys were unbeatable. Uh, Isaiah would call a play, run a play with him. You, you, you guys would miss the shot. Dennis Rodman would grab it, 
dribble it two times, and hand it back to Isaiah. Then you'd run another play. Exactly how it works. Then Isaiah would miss another shot or something. <laughs> you would you would you would grab a rebound or mm -hmm. kick it out to somebody. Rodman would dribble it to the hand it to Isaiah. You'd run. A, you would run like eighteen straight plays. And, 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 <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then eventually you'd hit a, a basket. This is, this is why you're so smart. Most guys didn't realize. Most guys would have grabbed the offensive rebound and try to put it back in themselves. Right. right? They just said, "Let me go. I'm gonna go run a play. We're go, gonna run another run twenty-four clock. seconds yeah, yeah, yeah. to get you in foul trouble. Yeah. Make you play defense. You watch football. The more the defense is on the field, the less you can win. That's why it wasn't just brute force. You guys right. were a smart team. Yeah. And Daly was a perfect coach for you guys. Yeah, and he would say the things like, uh, you get hurt, he looks at you. And and it was one time I twisted, I got hit in the knee in the New York, and he walks halfway. He goes, can you go from a distance? Yeah. I go, yeah, yeah, five minutes. He goes, put spit on it. You only got five minutes. <laughs> That's it. Like, if you can't go in ten minutes, I'm going with somebody wow. else. Wow. And and it's and this is the deal. And if that team was hurts, deep too. Oh yeah. yeah. If it hurts, it just better hurt later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it can't hurt right now. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on Direct TV.